Virgo, welcome to your love by reading for the second half of January. Before we get started, I do have a few announcements. The first announcement is, is that I have opened up personal reading. So if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, head to the description box down below and there will be more information about how you can get a personal reading. Also, I am holding a contest to win a free personal reading from me. Um, the, all the information on how to enter um, is down below. The contest is for my subscribers. Um, now, I will be announcing the winner of the contest on February 10th and delivering that free personal reading to a lucky subscriber um, on February 14th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Okay, guys? All right, so Virgo, let's get into your love reading for the second half of January. We're going to pull in overall energy here from the Moonology deck. Um, so we've got communication is key. It could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? So this is a love reading. If you are interested in, oh, bottom of the deck, a new romantic cycle begins, okay? And communication is key. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. Uh, guys, if you are interested in a sexual magic reading, I will put a link in the description box as well. They are quite spicy. So if you're sensitive towards sexual content, they're definitely not for you. Uh, but I would recommend that you check those out. Um, but yes, this is just a basic love reading, general love reading for, um, for Virgo for the second half of January. So can you get four energies, please, in regards to love? So again, the overall energies here are communication is key and a romantic cycle begins. Um, Gemini and Libra energy. Can you get three more cards, please, for Virgo, for love and romance for the second half of January, please? Ooh. Okay, bottom of the deck, magician. You could be manifesting somebody. Somebody could be manifesting you. You may have recently met somebody who really checks all your boxes. Um, but we're going to find out here in the reading, okay? So you've got the devil energy. We've got the two of pentacles. We've got the three of wands and the ace of pentacles, okay? So heavy earth energy here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, Taurus like yourself. Sorry, Virgo like yourself. Or Taurus um, Capricorn energy here heavy um, so listen <laughs> Virgo um, you're manifesting somebody or you have manifested somebody okay I feel like you may have an option between two people here with the two of Pentacles um, or there could be an imbalance here I'm, I'm seeing the devil all right with the ace of Pentacles so there's going to be a new sensual beginning you may feel with this devil energy that this connection moves really quickly. I'm picking up a sense of obsession with one another. It's almost like you guys always want to spend time together. You guys are um, really interested in each other. This connection may move really fast, okay? On both ends. This isn't on one end. This is both ends, okay? The fact that it's moving so fast could create a bit of an imbalance. Um, definitely a bit of a warning to look out for if this connection is moving fast. So just make sure you guys are on the same page. I mean, the devil energy does signify obsession, but it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Um, it can just be that you guys are incredibly attracted to each other. The passion is there. The fire is there. And you guys are just intoxicated by each other. Okay. Again, a new romantic cycle begins and communication is key. Just make sure you're being aware of any imbalances within the connection, okay? But this person with the magician here checks all of your boxes, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is a new sensual beginning, okay, in sexual magic, all right? Just so you guys are aware. <laughs> um, the Ace of Pentacles is the start of something new. Um, I'm picking up here a, a heavy sexual attraction to one, each, to one another, all right? And again, I'm picking up an energy of this connection growing really fast, okay? All right, so let me clarify here. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo in regards to this connection. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, two cards. 
So we've got the Queen of Swords and we've got the Knight of Swords, like I said. So there's going to be communication coming in really fast, all right? So like I said, you're going to feel like this connection moves at the speed of light pretty much, okay? Um, it's almost like you guys go from A to B to C super quick. You guys might meet. There might even be a sexual encounter on the first date. Um, and then somebody desires more here with this Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is unfinished business, all right? Uh, this could even be someone from your past, not necessarily so. I'm really not picking that up. I'm picking up a new energy, but again, I'm talking to a very large group of people, so take it how it resonates. Um, but this person is going to be communicating their interest in you really quickly, okay? Um, they may be looking for exclusivity. This person is really attracted to... Uh, the intellectual connection that you guys have is what I'm getting here, okay? And it also, it, it pretty much ignites sensuality within the, the relationship, okay? They're really attracted to your mind. Um, they're going to want to talk to you a lot. You're going to find that there's going to be a lot of conversation between you and this person, okay? Let's clarify this Three of Wands here for Virgo, please. Three of Wands for Virgo. So Two of Swords. So like I said, so the Two of Swords can signify a perfect match. It can also signify um, choices. It can also signify indecision. Um, I'm picking up here though a little res reservation coming from your side in regards to how quickly this connection is growing, okay? You may feel like it's almost a little scary here and you might put up a block temporarily is what I'm picking up, all right? Let's clarify this two of pentacles for Virgo and their person in regards to love for the second half of January. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Clarify the two of pentacles, please, for Virgo. So again, it comes back to that communication is key card there. It's like you you're really shocked at how fast you guys are coming together and just make sure you communicate that with your person, okay? So clarifying this two of pentacles is the fool. <laughs> Again, so it's like, it's like if you had any reservation, if you were like, oh, I don't know, I'm kind of scared, you're going to you're gonna just jump right into it, okay? Um, I'm sensing a bit of fear here. I'm sensing a bit of imbalance in the connection. Um, just remember again, communication is key. I know it sounds cheesy because I've said it like four times, but, uh, just make sure you're letting this person know, um, what you're comfortable with, what speed you're comfortable at moving. Okay. Um, I think that you're really desiring this person. You want to jump in. Um, but you know, you just need a sense of balance in the connection. Okay. Let's clarify this devil energy. Clarify the devil energy for oh, Virgo. So we've got the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So with the Ace of Swords, sorry, I'm trying to show them all to you, but it's kind of hard. So with the Ace of Swords, again, like there's going to be a lot of communication coming back and forth. Uh, with this person you may feel like you're talking to this person all the time like it's just you guys are constantly texting even when you're at work um, calling each other at night before bed if you guys are in separation if you guys are together in the same room it's like you guys are just talking and talking and talking and talking okay there's a lot of intellectual energy between the two of you um, with the high priestess here with the devil card, you could be having lots of dreams about this person. Um, again, I'm getting, I'm getting obsession. This person is in your mind here, especially with the ace of swords and the high priestess. Okay. This person is constantly on your mind, on your mind, on your mind. Um, it could be vice versa where I honestly, I'm picking up the energy from both of you. Both of you are on each other's mind constantly. Okay. You guys are both kind of in that obsession phase, which is why you may feel like this relationship is moving incredibly fast, okay? Is there any more energy that I could give? Is there any more messages for Virgo in regards to this connection? 
So whatever, whoever you're dealing with here, they're coming in fast. This is somebody that you want. This is somebody, you're somebody that they want. You guys are both checking each other's boxes here with the magician. This is a connection that is going to be romantic, is going to be, um, is going to get off the ground. I can see it. I can see commitment for sure. The thing is, is that it's going to move very quickly. And if you guys are not communicating and letting each other know your boundaries and what it is that you want out of this connection, it's not going to, it's going to become either toxic or it's going to come to a halt. Okay. Especially with that two of swords as well. All right. So keep that in mind that you do need to make sure that the boundaries are very clear and the communication is very clear because the devil energy can signify um, an ending in the relationship. I mean, it is about obsession. It is about coming together. You guys obviously desire each other. But again, there's that warning uh, that if you guys aren't careful, you guys are going to tip the scale. Okay? Especially with that two of these pentacles there. Any more messages? Okay, so that's obviously it. Um, yeah, King of Cups. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> you can expect a whirlwind romance for sure. Um, you're not even going to know what hits you, okay? This romance is going to be deep. It's going to be fluid. It's going to be... Wow. Um, the King of Cups also wants exclusivity. So expect this person to come in wanting exclusivity from you, okay? All right, Virgo. This is what I got for you today. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how it goes. And enter the contest for a free read, okay? And if you want a personal reading with me before... Or in general, that information is in the description box below, okay? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.